They didn't even attempt to hide the logo here. They seriously just made it a McDonald's. Let's walk inside and take a look. So we have, of course, McDonald's menus. Um, that's really weird, actually, how much they did this. Yo, what is going on guys? My name is Matrix and I hope you're all having an absolutely fantastic day today. Guys, we are here today in a brand new game that I've never done a video on and I don't even think there's a video of this game on YouTube. Guys, we are here today in a very low-key game simply called Dubai United Arab Emirates. Now, if you guys didn't know, Dubai is a city in the United Arab Emirates and it is a glorious, very beautiful, very, very extravagant city um, filled with a very, very well community and honestly this game kind of represents that in its own way simply put guys this game is all about luxurious cars and I figured I'd try it out for you guys see what you thought of it see if you like it or not and maybe just maybe we'll do a little bit more of it now like I said guys this game has a lot of really nice exotic luxurious cars so the cool thing about this game compared to a lot of the other racing games I've played is that this game has mostly like like I said luxurious cars so we've got a lot of Mercedes brands we've got a lot of different Bentley brands and all that kind of stuff guys so it's gonna be a very different feel than what we're used to we're used to seeing a lot of different racing cars and and different performance made cars and not a lot of the very cool luxurious scenes so this is gonna be interesting guys also you can see in the window a very gorgeous looking 2018 Mustang that uh your boy might have to cop in today's video you know it's just it's just part of the tradition at this point you know so and over here we even have a Mercedes CLA 260 so we even have more of the basic cars as well. This isn't even an AMG, is it? No, it's not even an AMG. So this is simply just a regular everyday four-door uh, Mercedes-Benz. So that's kind of cool that this game has so many different types of, uh, you know, ba more basic designed cars. And then, of course, we've got the LaFerrari right here. And over here, we did see a Lamborghini, but I think it disappeared. Um, okay, whatever. No, no worries. Let's go over to the car dealership. We have $75,000 to start with. Let's see what we can get with that money. Um, okay, so looking through here guys, we've got a lot of different, like I said, a lot of different kinds of luxurious cars. We've got a lot of the Audi uh, S-Class cars, which are really cool. Um, the S5, we've got the RS4, um, and then we have, of course, BMWs. Uh, we even have a Honda Civic Type R. That's kind of interesting. We've got a Mercedes AMG GTR, which is really, really cool. C63S Mercedes as well. You know what? I think we should buy a Mercedes. I think it makes sense, guys. I think it just makes more sense to get a car uh, more luxurious based. So let's go ahead and probably get that. We also have the CLA 220, which I'm definitely not getting because that's slow. Um, then we have the E63 S AMG, which is really nice. Unfortunately, can't afford it. We've even got a G65, uh, a Range Rover, and so on and so forth. I really, really like how many different types of Mercedes there are, though. There's not enough games that give love to Mercedes. So I'm going to go with the C63 S AMG. That is way worth its price. $73,000 is nothing for a car of this caliber. Now, I just opened up my car menu, and I noticed here we also have a Nissan Titan. Um, I'm pretty sure that's a truck. Um, okay, let's go ahead and spawn this, and yep, I was right. Here is the Nissan Titan. Uh, the model is really, really bad, though. I'll be honest, the model is pretty, pretty bad uh, for this car anyways. And uh, coming into the inside, we can take a look here. Uh, it doesn't look like it's very well modeled either in the inside, but hey, you know what, guys? This game only had 30 people when I started playing it, so I'm going to be totally cool. And the comments and criticism I give for this game are going to be very selective because clearly this game is far from complete, and it still seems like there's a lot of work to be done. But anyways, I still wanted to show this to you, and wait a second! Wait one second! Dude, I did not get a Mercedes CLA 220. No way, dude. What the heck? I did not get a Mercedes CLA 220. Oh my gosh, I deliberately said I wasn't gonna get one. I deliberately said I wasn't gonna get a CLA 220, and it somehow gave me a CLA 220. Are you kidding me, dude? This is the car I bought. I bought a C63S AMG. What the actual heck? What the actual heck, man? What? Why do I have to have this car? Dude, come on, this car's so slow. Oh my gosh, okay, I'm not gonna complain. Clearly that's just a little bug. Um, I don't know how I got the CLA 220 though. That's so ironic, because that was literally the car I said I didn't want. Guys, in the comment section down below, comment hashtag unlucky matrix, okay? I wanna see how many of you guys are still watching up until this point. Also guys, we are gonna turn on the sound now. If you didn't notice, it was off for the beginning of today's video. There is a lot of really loud, annoying noises. Um, including that LaFerrari, for example. 
Oh my gosh, that is so loud. But actually, you know what? Taking a look around the map, it's actually kind of cool. I like how there's a McDonald's right here. That is really interesting. Let's actually park the car right here and uh, let's go take a look at this McDonald's. That is really, really awesome, actually. They didn't even attempt to hide the logo here. They seriously just made it a McDonald's. Let's walk inside and take a look. So we have, of course, McDonald's menus. Um, that's really weird, actually, how much they did this. Um, and then over here, we even have freaking toys. Are you kidding me? Charlie Brown toys. Are you serious right now? Oh my gosh. And you can even sit in the seats. So if you wanted to play this game like a role play, you definitely could. Okay, you know what guys? For what this is, I have to say this is kind of interesting. This is like a really hidden gem in the Roblox game community. So I'm, I'm surprised I found this. And then of course we've got the Mercedes G-Wagon right there. Oh baby, that is nice. That is really cool. This game has a lot of interesting cars. Wow, okay, I'm actually I'm actually really really hyped for this. This is really cool If you guys want to see more of this game, you know what to do smash that like button show some support guys Seriously, this game looks pretty hype not gonna lie so we just made it into the supercar dealership guys I want to show you all of these cars. I love the way they're on these pedestals. We've got the Ford GT We've got a McLaren P1. I think I'm not sure or 650s I'm not sure which one that is and over here. We've got of course the simple Lamborghini um Aventador or Hurricane Con. I, I don't even know man. I this is what you guys get. I got to address something All right, a lot of you guys always say matrix. You're not a car guy. You don't know supercar names or anything like that um, Dude listen, okay? I don't spend my days looking at supercars I spend my days looking at cars that I can actually put my hands on and actually work on so so before you call me out for not being a car guy I've probably done more work to an actual car than most of the people who say that have so I just wanted to address this guys Honestly, I'm not butthurt about it. I'm not upset um, I just wanted to say it because I get flooded with those comments all the time whenever I play a game with a bunch of supercars So many people say matrix. You're not a car guy. You don't know the exact spec of this exact language Lamborghini dude, you know, I, I really don't I don't I don't know anything about supercars to be honest with you But over here we still have a bunch of awesome cars a Kona Seg a Jira R and then we've got an Audi Ooh, We got a new Audi a new Audi R8 very cool and uh, over here Of course, we got a Bugatti Veyron every game needs a Bugatti Veyron But let's go take a look at these ridiculous prices guys. So we've got an R8 V10 plus only a hundred thousand Wait, a V10 plus Audi R8 is only $100,000 in this game. We've got an Aventador SV, which apparently costs $400,000. I, I don't even know, man. These prices are crazy. A Bentley Continental GT, almost a quarter million dollars. Bugatti Chiron is, wow, $3 million. Holy smokes. Ferrari F40, $400,000. LaFerrari, Koenigsegg, Ajira, Koenigsegg 1, Koenigsegg Riajira. Uh, that's interesting. Oh, a Lamborghini Centenario. Oh, we got to get some of these cars, man. Uh, Lamborghini Huracan Performante, 570 GT, uh, Nissan GTR. Wow, guys, there is a lot of different cars in this game. Seriously, this is really cool. You know, coming into this game initially, guys, I did not think it was going to be at even close to this content filled. So there is quite a lot of cars to choose from. And I have to say, man, that makes me really happy. I'm glad this game has some actual work put into it um, because a lot of these games really don't get a lot of work or a lot of credit done. So hopefully this game continues to grow because I think it's a pretty awesome game. Obviously, you can see a lot of this map isn't done yet, but that's okay. We've got, I think this is the biggest uh, building in Dubai. I think that's what they were trying to build here is the biggest building in Dubai because I know the biggest building in the world is actually in Dubai and I think that's what they were trying to go for here. I'm not sure though. I could be wrong. Alrighty guys, so I've been driving in circles for about five minutes now and I gotta say like after playing this game for quite a while, my only real ripe about it is the fact that like the driving is terrible. That's the only thing. I like how there's different models. I like the idea they have for the map. Also, I figured out, I looked this up, um, this, this isn't the building that they're supposed to be trying to mock uh, as the biggest building in the world that would be that building right over there that is supposed to be the Burj Khalifa I think is what they call it and that is literally the tallest building in the entire world uh, in real life anyways so yeah that's pretty cool that they have that in the game but honestly like I was saying guys driving around on this like empty sand like this I have to say like after a while it gets really really boring um, the way the map is designed it's not very fun to go through the city just because it's really tight and uh, not really easy to whip around in but we just collected our first $100,000 and I'm not gonna keep on going around here. This gets really repetitive. We're just gonna go right to the dealership and take a look at the different cars available to us. Uh, maybe we'll buy something cool and uh, maybe we'll do that. Maybe we'll even get the Mustang. That might be cool, man. The Mustang looks really good in this game. 
Yeah, I like the way that looks, but I don't think I'm gonna get it. I wanna get something more unique. Uh, so we have the C63, we have the AMG GTR. We could get the E-Class, E63S. Maybe we'll get that. Yeah, let's get that. So we got the E63 AMG. Um, hopefully it, it actually spawns for us. Yes, there it is, okay. So let's actually spawn that, um, and hopefully it looks as good as it says it does. And it does, it looks really decent actually. The headlights and taillights look kind of weird because they're blacked out like that, but the car itself looks pretty awesome. It's a V8 bi-turbo, very, very nice car, very fast. And uh, the way it looks looks okay, not, not incredible, but okay. I'm not gonna complain. The headlights, they really should have fixed that. They don't look like that at all. Um, but in general, it looks pretty okay. So I'm okay with it. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, a like would be so appreciated. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys all in the next video.